time diagram. Angles required for celestial navigation calculations can be difficult to establish on a flat representation of a 3D sphere. The time diagram is a convenient alternative when illustrating the relationship between various angles on the celestial sphere as viewed from an imaginary point beyond the celestial south pole. The time diagram begins with a circle to represent the celestial equator. The center of the circle is labeled PS to indicate the celestial south pole. And the easterly direction is measured right and westerly directions are measured left. The upper branch of the local celestial meridian is drawn as a solid line from the center to the top of the circle and labeled uppercase M. The lower branch of the local celestial meridian is drawn as a dashed line from the center to the bottom of the circle and labeled lowercase m. The Greenwich Celestial Meridian, abbreviated to G, is drawn relative to the local celestial meridian. For example, if an observer's longitude is 140 degrees east, G is west of the observer. Similarly, if an observer's longitude is 70 degrees west, G is east of the observer. The lower branch of the Greenwich Celestial Meridian may be indicated as a dashed line and labeled lowercase g. The apparent rotation of the celestial sphere causes celestial bodies and their hour circles to travel from east to west. Three hour angles are used to describe the relative position of celestial bodies. The Greenwich Hour Angle, abbreviated to GHA, is measured from G westward to the hour circle of a celestial body or point. The local hour angle, abbreviated to LHA, is measured from M westward to the hour circle of a celestial body or point. The sidereal hour angle, abbreviated to SHA, is measured from the hour circle containing the first point of Aries westward to the hour circle of a celestial body. It is important to note that these three hour angles are measured from their perspective point of origin westward through 360 degrees. Two other angles, the meridian angle and the right ascension may be required for some celestial navigation computations. The meridian angle, labeled lowercase t, is used in some sight reduction formulas. The angle t is measured from m, east or west, through 180 degrees, depending on proximity, to the hour circle of a celestial body, and labeled accordingly to indicate direction from m. The relationship between LHA and t is obvious on the time diagram. If the LHA of a celestial body is less than 180 degrees, T equals LHA and is labeled west. On the other hand, if LHA is greater than 180 degrees, T equals 360 degrees minus LHA and is labeled east. Right ascension, abbreviated as uppercase RA, is often used to plot the sun, moon, planets, or minor stars on the Rood Starfinder. Right ascension is measured from the first point of Aries eastward to the hour circle of a celestial body. Note that SHA plus RA add up to 360 degrees. Now that we've covered the basics of the time diagram, we will use a sample question to demonstrate how to construct and use it. The observer's longitude is 80 degrees east. The GHA of Aries is 76 degrees, and the SHA of a star is 145 degrees. Find the following information about the star. GHA, LHA, meridian angle, right ascension. Start by scribing a circle to represent the celestial equator. Label the center of the circle PS to represent the celestial south pole. Draw the upper branch of your local celestial meridian from the center to the top of the circle and label it uppercase M. Draw a dashed line from the center to the bottom of the circle to represent the lower branch of the local celestial meridian. Label it lowercase m. Now place the Greenwich celestial meridian on the time diagram relative to the observer's meridian. Since the observer's longitude is 80 degrees east of Greenwich, put G80 west of the local celestial meridian. The GHA of Aries is 76 degrees. Draw the hour circle of Aries 76 degrees west of G because GHA is always measured westward. The SHA of the star is 145 degrees. Place the hour circle of the star 145 degrees west of Aries. The time diagram is now established for our example question and can be used to determine the GHA, 
LHA, meridian angle, and right ascension of the star. Based on this diagram, GHA of the star equals GHA of Aries plus SHA of the star, which equals 221 degrees. LHA of the star equals the sum of east longitude, GHA of Aries, and SHA of the star equals 301 degrees. The shortest angular distance from the local celestial meridian to the star is easterly. Hence, the meridian angle T of the star is 360 degrees minus LHA of the star, which equals 59 degrees. It is labeled east. Right ascension of the star, measured from Aries right to the star, equals 360 degrees minus SHA of the star, which equals 215 degrees. Notes. Use a maneuvering board or plotting sheet to draw the time diagram if accurate visual representation of angular measurement is required. If the celestial Greenwich meridian is placed at the top of the time diagram instead of the local celestial meridian, G is used as a reference for establishing the relationship between angles. When facing the celestial Greenwich meridian from a position in space, east is right and west is left. In order to maintain the east-west convention for the time diagram, the celestial sphere is viewed from an imaginary point beyond the celestial south pole. A view from the celestial north pole would reverse the east-west convention. <laughs>